Yes. Welcome back, my dear brothers and sisters. Sorry, technology always has its pluses and minuses. So let me quickly summarize what I was talking. Fears and anxieties, problems and challenges are in abundance in life. We are afraid of several things. In the present situation, we are afraid that we may get stuck with the coronavirus and that may cause my life. Otherwise, any of the NCDs can be hazardous. Cancer, once I get that, my days are numbered. Asthma, diabetes, hypertension, heart problem, epilepsy, migraine, irritable bowel syndrome, all these modern ailments. Fear, getting stuck with any of this, one or more of many others. Similarly, collapse of the market and big down in the economy that is happening the world over today. Or we are afraid of losing our very close, near and dear. Many sad things, hundreds of sad things, fears. And for each one of them, we try to find a solution for that problem. But could there be a single solution for all these things? We think it is impossible. This is the question that is asked by one of the great yoga sadhaks, a great king. He comes to one of his greatest of the teachers. And it is in the Mundaka Upanishad. He comes and says, Oh, great teacher, I have learnt many, many vidyas. Shastram Janami, Shastram Janami. 64 types of vidyas I learned. I become a master. Maybe 64 PhDs he got. But I am not satisfied. I have not overcome my fears. I have not been able to get to that state of highest bliss. I have not found the reality. I don't have these solutions. Now can you please tell me that by knowing which I know everything in the universe. Kintam Vignatam, Sarvam Vignatam Bhavati Iti. Can you please tell me? The teacher looks at him. Well, well, well. You know. I know you have learned many, many Vidyas. They are all called as the secular knowledge. Aparavidya. Now we have to learn the Paravidya. There are two types of Vidyas, two types of learning, two types of the knowledge. Dve Vidye Veditavye Parachaiva Aparacha Para and Aparavidya. And then he defines what is aparavidya, the secular knowledge and the real knowledge. Tatra aparaha rugvedo yajurveda samavedo atharvavedaha. All the four Vedas he puts into the basket of the aparavidya. Not only that, all those supporting documents to understand the Vedas, they are called the Vedangas. Shiksha kalpo vyakaranam viruktam chando jyotishamidi. Six Vedangas. To understand anything, we should know what is the grammar, what is the dictionary meaning, what is the encyclopedic knowledge, what are the technical meanings, and several other things. All that you have to understand to understand the Vedas in its real perspective. So, all that has been put into the basket of what we call the Aparavidya. We were wondering, what are the Upanishads telling? Upanishads form the part of the Vedas. And Upanishads themselves are telling that Upanishads are Aparavidya. Then what is it that we call as the Paravidya? He defines Tatra Paraha Tatadaksharam Adhigam Yate. That by which you transform yourself. 
realize yourselves and reach the highest state of fearlessness, infinite bliss, reality, our original state from where the whole creation has come. That is called as the Paravidya, he said. This is what yoga talks about. That you raise from our normal level to become great human beings, superhuman beings, divine human beings, and reach that state of infinite pure consciousness. And that is what the Upanishad tell us. So to overcome all these challenges and the fears and the anxieties, we have to learn this real knowledge, the Paravidya. So it is not mere intellectual knowledge, it is not just textual knowledge. A person may be a great professor, he may go through all the operations in great depth, he may understand each and every word, he may understand the significance of every sentence, but he might not have done the process of transformation. He has said, he has heard Shavana, he has done the banana, he has understood. But then he has to go to the next step called the Nididhyasana. That is actual experimentation. This is the scientific modality that we have in the modern science. We hypothesize, then we have the design of the study, and we plan everything very well. And we know what are the parameters we have to measure, how many people we have to do, where we have to do, everything in great detail you do. Then you have to actually do the experimentation and collect all the data, analyze them, and repeatedly you do that thing. That's the experimentation process. That's the process of transformation toward here. That's called Nididhyasana, contemplation. And the culmination of the contemplation is the jnana, that is the realization, the transformation that occurs. This is the Prabhidya. The process has been developed so nicely in our ancient scriptures, and we have to understand this dimension. We had one of my friends who got very interested in the yogi posters, asanas. He collected all types of asanas sitting posters, standing posters, inverted posters, supine posters, everything. Selected from various texts and others. What a beautiful compilation! 1200 asanas, but he never practiced even a single asana. He had only the intellectual knowledge. So he's only a shrotriya, he's a scholar, he's a professor, and not a Brahmanishta. So the definition of a person who is a good teacher should have both the theory and the practice. And as Upanishad said, Shrotriyam Brahmanishtam. So, what are the characteristics of the teacher? Upadekshanti te jnanam jnaninaha tattva darshinaha. It said. The jnana is not mere intellectual knowledge. Jnaninaha. But tattva darshinaha. That the person who realizes is the key. So both these things are necessary. And by doing this process systematically and going greater and greater, you know, raising ourselves to greater and greater heights, you reach that state. And that is the state of fearlessness. So it is this jnana, it is this transformation process that's most important. So if you want to overcome all these fears and anxieties, of not only the present crisis, but the fears which are haunting us in our life throughout. We have a single solution that is transform yourself. Swami Vivekananda, the greatest masters, he gave the solution that you have to raise yourself to the greater height. Manifestation of the divinity. He said, You be and make. After transforming yourself, you must see that 
it spreads and more and more people also should get transformed then only the country or the society can be at the greatest heights that the formula he gave be and make so what is to be the, the solution today so we must move from fear to fearlessness from the dimensions of mere knowledge to experience and that is the path given to us by starting off with the practices and gain control and mastery of mind raise your higher and higher eyes understand the subtle dimensions and the causal dimension of this entire creation most of you have heard from me the panchakosha which is elaborated in the taitri upanishad anamaya kosha pranamaya manomaya vignana anandamaya koshas and we have to transform ourselves by not only the understanding but also going to greater and greater heights and that is what we have to do so what is the solution the mandoka parishad said that you contemplate on the pure consciousness represented by om om ityeta dakshara midam sarvam tasyopavyakyanam udad bhavat bhavishyati te sarvam omkara eva om is the name for that planet pure consciousness and we take to the worship of om and tune your universe that om and this is what we are going to do the practice now and if all of us work together all over the world then you can bring a change in the consciousness field synchronize global prayers we call those who do not know the significance and the secrets of home by the practice of home have found fantastic results so let us do the 27 rounds of omkara those who do not want to do that doesn't matter let them do only the bhramari the humming sound of a bee that also gives the effects to strengthen our inner peace about 5 seconds of inhalation and about 10 seconds of the om so let us all start the stb and i request all of you to relax nicely sitting lying down or wherever you are and relaxing the whole body from toes to head keep a smile on the face and keep the face relaxed throughout this practice just a few minutes take a deep breath to start
Resonant way moving from toes to head as we repeat this wonderful oh inhale.
last round. Observe the wonderful relaxation, internal massaging, bringing wonderful balance throughout the body and the mind and the emotions. And when all of us all over the world at this time practice this thing, there is now tune ourselves to that wonderful all perceive pure sky, beautiful blue sky, or a vast infinite ocean. We have to tune our mind to that anantata, ananta samapati, as Patanji wants it. Let us tune ourselves to that infinite pure consciousness for ananta mayakosha, in a sense. And in that state of all pervasive state of mind, subtle state of mind, that was all pray by our strong resolve to strengthen our immune systems, to bring about the necessary transformation for prevention of any onslaught from the corona in this crisis and also to bring a positive change in the global consciousness field. Our synchronized global prayers with this wonderful resolve that we are going to repeat now nine times we can bring about the global change. It's all join hands synchronized. Nine times repeating this resolve. With all our collective powers of silence, we strengthen our immune systems. With all our collective powers of silence, we strengthen our immune systems. With all our collective powers of silence, we strengthen our immune systems. With all our collective powers of silence, we strengthen our immune systems. With all our collective powers of silence, we strengthen our immune systems. With all our collective powers of silence, we strengthen our immune systems. With all our collective powers of silence, we strengthen our immune systems. With all our collective powers of silence, we strengthen our immune systems. In the last round, with the full faith, we will resolve. With all our collective powers of silence, we strengthen our immune systems. We will strengthen our immune systems. We are able to prevent the corona trying to hit us and see that we prevent diseases and move towards positive health and let this global prayers of all of us, global resolve of all of us bring such a positive change in the global consciousness field that it will nullify the negative effects of the corona spread everywhere. All people be healthy, happy, Countries they grow to the greater and greater heights. Come to Namaskara Mudra for our prayer for the welfare of all. Sarve Bhavantu Sukhinaha Sarve Sandu Niramaya Sarve Bhadrani Bhashyantu 
Let there be peace inside, the peace in the immediate surrounding, and peace throughout the globe. And that's a wonderful prayer of Shanti that has been sung by all of us. Thank you all very much. And let us bring the great success to this STP. And let's clap nine rounds to make this possible. Thank you very much, Guruji, for such a beautiful opportunity to align with the peace and consciousness around the globe. Guruji, now, uh, friends, we are going to open the floor for any questions that you may have for Guruji. And then we can ask Guruji those questions. Guruji, there are lots of people uh, just uh, thanking you. I'm just reading all these messages. And thank all of you for your attention to come and join us. Let us all contribute more and more to bring such a positive throughout the world, devoid of fear, anxieties, and tensions and stresses. And the one that can strengthen the immune systems and see that we face the biggest the challenge of the corona that we have. I remember one of our friends who got stuck with the and got so anxious and was asking what is to be done, what is to be done. But he was imprisoned. Yeah. And then I just mentioned that you have to change your attitude. This is a great opportunity for us to stay in a single room to see that we grow continuously. Guruji, there are requests coming in. Hmm. So first, Guruji, uh, even yesterday, from yesterday, we are having this request. Uh, consistent requests, people asking for Maitri Millen to reset online daily. People are really Maitri Millen and rehab daily because now with coronavirus, we are. Thank you very much. We are going to start this Maitri Millen from 28th. Shankar Jayanti celebrations, we are going to start 7 o'clock, 28th. We will have the complete uh, bring out the dimensions of Shankara's teachings for one hour program. That is our inaugural program. From then, every day we are going to have the money which you have been wanting. Thank you very much for your interest. I hope that large number of people will get the benefit of the Maitri Mila. So your next question, how do you move ahead with someone who has an erogistic nature towards breathing? So now we have technology, we can go through the videos and very interesting videos can make the person get to the higher knowledge base. Rajik people have a tremendous amount of intellect, creativity, and their planning and wonderful energy. They're very good. But they have to expand their knowledge. They have to move from Rajas to Sattva, in which they have a higher knowledge base, a greater knowledge base. So that is what is needed. And that's where our my terminals give us the opportunity for them to take their vision and move to the higher dimension from Rajas to Sattva. And we are soon starting our online programs on various dimensions, which I talked about in brief. 
and then we have the Raj Yoga and the Karma Yoga and the Bhakti Yoga and unity in diversity. The greatest contribution of India to world thought and culture, our great wisdom base that we have. And each is a one credit program in which we will have about 20 hours, about 10 hours of theory, 10 hours of practice. And we are opening up this for registrations and all those people who want to join and learn these dimensions, I'm going to take most of these things and you are most welcome to join for these courses. And we have a Dr. Natesh who is heading our distance line program and soon the web will open up and you will be able to take up and then register yourself for this course. And at the end of the course, if you want, you have a brief examination that you can get a certificate as well. And that is what we are going to offer from our university, from Vivekananda Yoga and Samsthan, and many such programs we are now planning out. To see that in this period where there is a lot of time and then we are all in their houses, we should be able to increase our knowledge base and go to understand the higher and higher you know, or wisdom base that our ancient country has come to the world at large. And we are going to offer our consultations for various NCDs. Our medical director, Dr. Nagaratna, also will be available and many people can conduct the consultation. Guruji, we have a question being asked from many people about uh, uh, if you can tell something about the impact of global prayer research. Well, with this question, we're going to have a specific session coming in the near future where Guruji will be talking about this in details because it, it is a question which will take a long time to, to address. We are trying to know the scientific dimension associated with the STP. You know? And there is a technology that has come up probably which will bring about some results. So we are going to take up this in the future presentation. Last, one person asked, last one. question we have is what is the positivity that has grown up? In nature provides various challenges which can help us to go out of our box, to think out of our box. Otherwise we are stuck with our knowledge base and we don't want to move out. We have got our habits, we have got our knowledge and we want to be within our things and we don't want to go out of it. Simple thing is that we shudder to be alone. We always want company. We want to be with the people and we are to working from morning to night continuously. Why? This is all good. Nothing wrong in it. But can you also enjoy that isolation? Can you go towards yourself and see the grandeur of that silencing of the mind, calming down of the mind and rising to the higher levels of consciousness? And this is the opportunity that has given. We had one of our diabetic patients who got so well in our Aragadham and when he was going out after 14 days with reduction in insulin and the normalizing of our sugar, he said to all your friends, it was a diabetes is a great boon for me. If I not got diabetes, I would not have come here, I would not have got used to this wisdom base. This is what is happening. So if we did not have this, then probably we would not have the opportunity to learn deeper dimensions of our knowledge base that our country has. So this I consider the positive thing. And lifestyle change, to have the healthy food and other things can all come out. And to work in the family together is yet another dimension. These are all the positivity that have started coming up thanks to the locking in. And we thank our Prime Minister Narendra Modi ji for bringing the locking in for all the people in the country with such efficiency and such meticulous planning and giving us an opportunity with such hazards that can came up with the economic downfall and other things still we are facing with courage this locking up. I wish you all the best. Thank you very much.
and we'll meet tomorrow at 5.30 for the next presentation. Thank you.